Hey, hi, and welcome. It's Megan here. Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going to be basically like doing a life reset, kind of getting my life together, really organizing my life, updating my vision board, updating my goals, basically to prep to end this year off strong. Let's get into it. Finally dressed, I'm ready. Um, I just put on this little two-piece set. It's like leggings and a cute like matching top. I got it from Amazon. I always usually get to like this point and I'm like, oh, I haven't achieved all my goals. Oh well, I'll just start over in the new year. That's usually what happens around this time. Instead of me doing that this year, I'm just gonna try to end the year off with a bang and go ahead and start some habits that I know that I'm gonna wanna have going into the new year. That way, maybe I'm more likely to actually stick with my goals going into January instead of like, because I already have some good habits, I already have some things that I'm working on instead of it just being like, I'm starting everything fresh new in January. That's start that off. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at the goals that I made in January. All right, so I can look at my vision board and adjust it as needed. And then actually I'm gonna look at the goals first and then the vision board. So I have them 2023 20, goals and it looks like I've highlighted some of them. So at some point I must have gone through and looked at some of them. So I'm gonna go through now, highlight some ones that I've achieved or kind of almost in there and then just adjust stuff as needed. So it's been about an hour. I have my laptop now. It was a little easier to do some of the things on my laptop instead of just on my iPad. But I went through, I looked at all of my goals and I kind of adjusted them and I picked like some that I want to super focus on for the remainder of the year and kind of adjusted the wording. But I kept them on that same file and then I just wrote down like the updated version of like the current the rest of the goals so one of my goals from the beginning of the year was to read 12 books so that's one book a month so in order to because I'm not going to reach that goal I'm not going to read 12 books by the end of this year I mean I could if I wanted to but it's not that serious I've adjusted the goal for the remainder of the year to just read two books which is one per year so that's basically what I did I went through all my goals and kind of adjusted that and then also based off of all my goals too I went through and I updated my vision board so here is my canva and so now this is my updated vision board and I'm just gonna upload it as my laptop background and I already um, updated the one for my phone and put that as the updated background. And I just kind of resize them a little bit and shift the pictures around to make it easier. From looking at my goals and then also like updating the vision board, I've recently started reading Atomic Habits and they were talking about looking kind of at your goals and then creating systems and creating habits that kind of help you achieve those goals. And so I was just thinking, okay, well, if I did something daily how would it help me achieve some of my goals? And so I came up with five habits. Um, so my five daily habits that I'm gonna try to do for the remainder of the year and going into next year are daily movement, eight cups of water, minimum, uh, read for 20 minutes, content creation, and journaling. And so what I mean by content creation, that could be editing, it could be filming, uh, basically anything content creation related. And I felt like based off of the goals that I want to achieve, this will help me get to all of them. Like to keep track of my habits, I'm going to use Notion. I already use Notion like for a lot of my stuff in my life. I can show you another video, you guys, where I talk about my Notion if you're interested. But here's just the screen. So as you can, ooh, as you can see, it says habit tracker up here. And then the habits, it's five of them across the top. And then it creates like a weekly view so you can kind of see how you're performing with your habits so far this week. Since I just started it, obviously I'm not performing well, but that's, um, you can just click the button and it'll put like a check mark on the date. And it tells you, like for instance, 
I can check mark the eight cups of water and it has it on today's date and it keeps track of it uh, because this is like a system that I used a template on Notion that like so I didn't have to make it from scratch because you have to use like formulas and stuff like that but um yeah I just used the template they already had and I added my habits in so that way I can go back like at the end of the year and I can see which days I actually did it um, another thing I really like about Notion is that I can use the app on my phone, pull it up on my phone just like that. So those are the habits again. And then here's the current daily view and I can just check them off. Like if I don't feel like pulling up my computer to do it. So that's why I wanted to do it like that. And instead of like using paper and stuff, because some of these habits I may have to try to do when I'm traveling as well, because I am a flight attendant, that's my job. So I do travel a lot, I'm away from home. And so I felt like these were habits that I could do even when I'm gone. And let me know down in the comments below if you have already kind of reevaluated your goals or if you're staying on track or if you updated them. Um, do, are you somebody who like, tracks your habits and stuff like that i'd be very interested to know so now i'm gonna make me like basically a late breakfast because now it's 11 o'clock <laughs> about this breakfast sandwich you guys like it looks so good I love a good breakfast sandwich um, and then of course I have my coffee okay oh let's try the breakfast sandwich let's try it mm. Mm -hmm. so I've put on my like button up because it's a little breezy outside and then also my thing uh purse thing so i can run to trader joe's really quick to go get groceries so let me just show you the outfit okay so it's kind of a mess but oh, and then i have my new balances on that i always wear so super casual chill outfit um and i guess the whole thing is from amazon <laughs> Trader Joe's right now and I'm gonna stop by Publix too because they're like right next to each other just to get the like three things on my list that Trader Joe's didn't have or I forgot to look for it. It's time for a grocery haul. Grocery haul. Mm. Okay, I have everything all spread out really quick just to make it easier to show you everything. So I got some frozen brown rice, tor mini flour tortillas, the birria meat, cause I've been wanting to try it, but it's usually gone. Um, the frozen broccoli, I got some apples, Granny Smith's. I got some lemon bars, which I love, and some spinach, two things of roasted potatoes, some pepper jack cheese, this little frozen pasta, the little simpler wines in the flavor mango, some garbanzo beans, and then I got the four smoothies just to try and see if I like having smoothies on the plane. So this is the organic carrot juice, a very green green juice smoothie, and a an vanilla almond spice chai like protein like smoothie. Um, I've had the green ones, but I've never had the other two. So we're trying them out, and then I'll just reuse these containers and make my own smoothie sometimes. And then I got feta cheese, uh, cucumber, some russet potatoes, a red onion, 
lettuce, two frozen butter chicken meals, eggs, and um, chicken breast tenderloin. So that was everything that I got. And I think it was like $90 with tax. And so now I'm just gonna do the rest of my computer organization stuff, which is updating and organizing my budget and then also my content calendar for like the next like couple of weeks and stuff like that. Just finished my updating my budget and stuff like that, which, you know, it is what it is. Um, I also updated my content calendar for the next two weeks. But back to the budget, I just use an Excel spreadsheet, actually Google Sheets. It used to be an Excel spreadsheet and I just imported it into a Google Sheet so that way I can access it like on my phone, on my iPad and on my computer so I can use it and look at it whenever I want to. I just made, it's like a super simple like one, the basic one, doesn't have super fancy formulas. It doesn't make like pie charts and extra stuff, super simple. Um, I've thought about just using one of those like apps, but for now I like to manually add everything up because it makes me really see how much money I'm spending and what I'm specifically spending the money on. So um, I feel good doing the budget and all of this stuff, but I will say, I don't know. I just been having like now today has made me kind of look and like reflect like I've been using all of today to like reflect on like goals and this year and everything that's happened and the things that I've kind of made happen and even money. And I just feel like this year has been very much overwhelming it's been stressful it's been the best year and the worst year all at the same time and so now like doing this like it, like doing the budget like I really being a flight attendant really isn't like a lucrative career uh, especially starting out like as you stay longer the money gets better but starting out it's not lucrative it's not like a money-making career and so I'm kind of having a hard time because it's like this is the least amount of money I've ever made like since working full-time and I live in the most expensive place ever and it's just like I don't know I don't know it's just really hard for me because I'm like I don't know if I love the lifestyle of being a flight attendant enough to continue on with this um and I think today has really helped me see like some of the goals and things and I really want clarity so going into like the end of this year um I always am so focused on like specific things and like what I want and I'm definitely going to still continue to do that but also more than anything I want clarity I want something I want stuff that really like I'm tired of moving every year you guys like I'm tired of moving everywhere I'm tired of never having an apartment that I love enough to want to stay or live in a city enough to where I want to stay I'm tired of like always wanting to change jobs and so like I'm really like for the next like going into the next year and even into next year like I really just want to figure out what I'm doing with my life like I don't want to start over a whole new career path again but honestly I really do think that might be where I'm headed um I've been applying for jobs and keeping like my options open but I think like for me it's just so I don't know like I'm just it's I just I don't know why I have such a hard time knowing like what I want to do career wise because like when I was in college and even high school like I was never that kid where you asked them and it was just like what do you want to do with their life and they say no I don't know I don't who knows I'm just gonna go with the flow like that wasn't me <laughs> that wasn't me in middle school and high school and college I was very clear on like I wanted to go into the healthcare field I wanted to be a dermatologist and then I eventually changed that to kind of a physician assistant because I didn't want to go back to school and then kind of nursing and then I realized like midway almost the end of college I was over it I was over school and so now ever ever since I've gotten jobs and like every couple of like I feel like almost every year I change jobs whether it's a promotion it's the same company whatever I feel like I'm constantly changing jobs every year I'm constantly moving to a new apartment this year it was a new city and I just like I 
I don't know. So for me, this year has been very enlightening as far as really realizing what I do want out of life and as far as the career paths I've put myself on. So I definitely recommend you sitting down to kind of look at your current goals for this year and kind of where you're headed towards the end of the year and into the next year and just kind of see where you are because up until like I really sat and I've been reflecting like all throughout the day today, I didn't realize I felt this way. And so I'm glad I did it. Um, I really am. I'm, I'm glad I did it. So <sighs> I feel good. I feel refreshed. I think I'm, I'm clear on like kind of the stuff, like things to help me stay organized and things like that going into the rest of this year and even taking those habits into the new year. So yeah. <laughs> So I'm eating my bowl salad thing. Um, I'm trying to do better about making more like balanced meals, lots of veggies, all the food groups, you know. Oh, I forgot to put feta cheese. I'm gonna add that. It's officially nighttime. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. It's almost 11 o'clock. So it's been a, a pretty busy day. So let me know down in the comments below if you do anything like this, like come up with your habits for the end of the year, into the next year, or um, come up with a morning routine or different routines to make your life easier. Or just look at your vision board or your goals and update it, whatever, just let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.